Well, you know, I've been a lucky guy all my life because I was born into a very musical family. My, my mother's side of the family, they were all musicians. My grandmother played piano and was a school teacher. My uncle played hot jazz violin and he ended up in the Paul Whiteman Orchestra in the late 20s. Uh, my uncle Dale was uh, a sidekick to my uncle Paul. He played a uh, rhythm guitar and he gave me his little Gibson arch top in 1946, I think it was, 1947. I opened up that case and just went, oh, oh, oh. you know, it was like all purple and beautiful. And it wasn't long until Les Paul and Mary Ford showed up at her house and they were hanging out and they were playing in a nightclub down the street. My dad was had a tape recorder, he was recording them, they'd come over and listen to it and stuff. And pretty soon they decided that uh, they wanted to get married, so they got married at our house. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, this, this was really uh, the amazing thing. My, my mom was the maid of honor, my dad was the best man. And, and uh, Les Paul became my godfather, and he taught me my first chord. And I he probably taught a lot of people, you know, how to play guitar. But... Clean this up. This is a Les Paul guitar. And these, I'm going to show you the chords right now, and you could go home and get your guitar out of the closet, tune it up, and you could do this. Anybody here could play this. One finger. You can sing a song to these chords. I was up off the chair and right out of the house and went to work playing guitar. I started when I was 12, and I had a band with Boz Skaggs. It was called the Marksman Combo. And the thing that saved our bacon was we had a drummer who had been taking drum lessons since he was five years old, and he could really play drums. Yeah. So, uh, you know, the next thing you know, we were like playing with Jimmy Reed and backing up Freddie King and doing stuff like that in Texas. And um, Time just kept moving on, and pretty soon I started making records, and uh, you know we put out a bunch of albums and stuff. And then I ran into Les Paul. I hadn't seen him in a long time. I ran into him at the at the uh, club in New York. It's called Fat Tuesdays, and um, you know it was just so great to see him uh, playing and telling stories about all the all the things he had done. And you know he started out by creating the electric guitar, the Les Paul solid body guitar, and then he did multi-track tape recording and stuff, and you don't care about that, but every song you hear is using that equipment. <laughs> he invented it all, so, you know, and I would go over to his house and uh, hang out, and he had all these really great Les Paul guitars laying around his house, and I wanted one really bad. Jake, there was a, there was a blood red one you would have, you would have died for, you know, and, uh, you know, the tobacco burst and the sunburst and the, this is a lemon burst here, by the way, and butterscots, you know. And I always wanted one of them, but he never, he never gave me one, you know. And it was my godfather, you know, and, and uh, he told me I had to earn it, so I did. I went out and, and, and bought my own, and this is my own, and I've got some real cool old pickups in it, so it sounds pretty good. And I'm going to play a song, and I'm going to dedicate it. To Les Paul, because he's up there in the big room, and he's up there with Jimi Hendrix and Jimmy Buffett and Jeff Beck and Christy McVie and Freddie King and B.B. King and Albert King and Chet Atkins and, you know, just on and on and on and all the great guitar players. This is the Les Paul guitar. See if you can tell the difference between the Les Paul and the Stratocaster I was playing. Enough chip chat. Let's get to it. This is called Big O Jet Airliner. Just for Les Paul.